Hello, people. Today I will be playing this demonic ass game. And it looks all cutesy right now, but no. No. It's gonna be spoopy. Yeah, the title's right here in case you're wondering. I don't care. I don't know. Cool. I have both of these. Cool. Oh, well, I guess we have to close it now. It's probably gonna run like crap. Oh yeah, look at that frame rate. Mm. <laughs> Holy sh isn't it, that's loud. Let's see. Okay. Let's do this. Lo gotta love that frame rate. Mm. Uh, I'm not gonna read it out loud. You can you can have fun with that. I'm gonna give it a couple seconds so, you know, things can happen. Hmm, yes. Good. Well, I mean, that's kind of screwed up to, like, ditch your friend. Oh. Go away. I know how that feels. Yeah, well, this guy was. Oh my god, look at the face. That's, uh, that's ridiculous. Oh. That's, 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 uh, pretty fucked up. I wonder. You can use spacebar to skip. Yes. No. F fuck your club. I know what happens in there. Bad shit happens. I'm not willing to get my butt touched. Oh my god, I thought it said cold for a second. Don't know how I get club confused with cult, but you know, it happens, I guess. Ignore that little sound I made. I am sick. Hmm, yes. Totally. Yeah, I'm gonna save here because stuff. Uh... Totally trust you. It's not like you're gonna become Evro. Try to like stab me or what some shit. Oh wait, that's somebody else. I mean what?
I will try a little. But more than a little is a bit too difficult. I don't know. Why do you let yourself get lectured by a small person? Oh. I have no idea what that word means. I don't pay attention. Hold on, I got it. Fat man has to do something. Okay, shit, never mind. <laughs> That's like every high schooler ever. Just. Uh... Yes, hello. Go away. <coughs> uh, ignore that, too. Oh, this guy must be, like, mentally slow. Like me! Ah, oh, that's, that's, that's offensive. No. Your club is demonic. Demonica. I'm sorry, I'll let myself out. Yes, see, he agrees with me. Oh. <laughs> Same. Oh. Anime is good. Okay, you know what? I'm tired of sitting here being quiet. I'm gonna regret this choice, but I'm gonna start reading it. I'm gonna feel more stupid than normal. Screw it. Let's do it. Kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Uh, cupcakes are amazing. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep, motherfucker. I can't tell if they... <laughs> I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned it all out. I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop for a cupcake. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Noom. And, to and thus, today marks the day I sold myself for a cupcake. You know, honestly, that's not that bad. Try... I mean, selling it to a slice of pizza would be better, but still, it's a cupcake. Food is food, okay, kids? Food is food. I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Is it gonna like hit the wall and just make explosion noises in the background? Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. I will smack you. No, I won't. That that would be rude. Eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Siori always says nice things about you. Oh, well, that's nice. Uh, Sayori, or whatever the hell your name is, I'm sorry for threatening to smack you. You kind of deserve it, though. Not really, but still. 
Seriously, you brought a boy, and you look like an eight-year-old. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, that's man, what a surprise. And you look, I don't know. I don't even know how you look. Welcome to the club. Yes, I, I am dead silent because I have no idea what the hell is going on. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Oh! And of course, this guy immediately thinks, hey, I'm gonna try to bone one of them. <laughs> what are you looking at? If you wanna say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Well, way to check out the people. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Well, hopefully it's not filled with gunpowder or some random crap like that. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Oh. Wow. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki always full of energy and this is Yuri the smartest in the club don't say things like that Yuri who appears who appears 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 comparably more mature and timid seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki well it's nice to meet the both of you and it sounds like you already know Monica is that right no but wrong. WRONG! That's right. No, it's wrong. It's great to see you again, fat man. Oh my god, look. Looks like they're holding hands. You see that? That's strange. I don't like it. Get get out of here. You're demonic. <laughs> Demonica. I'm sorry. It's great to see you again, fat man. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely docked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Blah, blah, blah. Basically, completely out of my league. Yes, same. So, having her smile at me so gen genuinely, genuinely feels a little. Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, fat man. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Woo! Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Hey, calm, calm your... Oh, wait. Hey, I was going to say calm your tits, but uh, that's an eight-year-old. Or, or not. I don't know. It's an eight-year-old in my book, okay? Then how about I make some tea as well? <gasps> you make tea? I love tea. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. <laughs> I just pressed Alt instead of Space. Natsuki proudly marches to the table, tray in hand. Okay! Are you ready? I'm <laughs> sorry, I know I'm retarded, but still. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal the dozen white, fluffy f cupcakes decorated to make lo look like little cats. Wait a minute. Why is there a dozen when before me, there's four members? And if four of them were to have two, that'd be eight. But, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with this, okay? Shut up. I guess, okay. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. That is called diabetes. So cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sorry grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouse full and ma mouse full mouse full yes smart person Sayori talks with her mouth full 
and has already managed to get icing on her face. Good job. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Oh god, does an eight-year-old have a crush on me? Oh my god. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Mmm, cupcake. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. What? I thought you technically did. Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for, y you know, you dummy. It, okay, she seems like she wants, she wants to beat my ass. Um, not sure how I feel about a little eight-year-old trying to beat my ass. Okay, uh, have fun trying, question mark? I don't fucking know. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. Oh. Again, why do they... Why do they let you take teacups into a... What? Okay. You know what? Screw it. It's a game. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I don't even fucking read anymore. Yeah, I guess. Don't let yourself get intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. Yeah, that, that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So I made you curious to consider the literature club. Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't... Oh, I double-clicked. Hold on. God damn it. Oh? Okay. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Okay. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? No, the only thing that's going to make me feel right is home. As home. I can't talk today. Well, the only thing that's going to make me feel at home is a bag of chips, some coca <coughs> um, Coca-Cola, and a couch. Okay. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica. I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You probably, you could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you like, weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Did, yeah. Well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget, the publicity, and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is a really great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more members in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. So how long is that? Right, everyone? Yeah, well, the thing is, I'm not graduating. I'm dropping out. Screw this school. I'm out. I'm out here. Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. The screen barely fits all four of you. 
Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Well, I mean, this one is kind of a brick. Why do you only have one tooth? Well, she's not an eight-year-old, she's a six-year-old, guys. Though I still don't know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Fat Man, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? 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 I don't know. Well, I don't know how things are pronounced. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Ah, oh, looks like this one likes comics and shit like that. I don't trust this face. This is the face of evil. This one's just like, mmm, I'm gonna stab you when you're not looking. Mm. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. <coughs> Ignore that voice crack. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Don't know how I feel about that. That can probably be turned into a sexual joke. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Oh, same. High five. Just kidding. I hardly ever read anymore. I used to like that kind of crap. Now I'm just like, oh, book, great. Yay. I'm so happy. Yay. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she's, uh, she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. Oh, hey, that's good. But, you know, I like reading a lot of things. Stories with these psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Okay, so this is definitely one of the smarter people. I know someone like this in real life, even though she's, like, quiet as hell. I don't know. Whatever. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you into a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, she likes them spoop scares. I, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. I'm not a rock, goddammit, I'm a potato! Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. Someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Because I'm a six-year-old and I get scared of my own goddamn shadow in the leaves. Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? Oh my god, look how pissed she is over saying, somebody saying cute. Oh hey, she actually has teeth. What is up with that tooth? What the hell? Looks like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. Give that back. Not yours. Fine, fine. Your cupcakes, your poem. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. This is, uh... This is the face of evil. This is not cuteness. This is... This is a secret demon. I'm onto you. I know what you're doing. You bastard. See, so already... That word up behind Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. I'm not cute! 
That's a key. You write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? N no! Natsuki adverts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your re open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. So, this is more of a philosophical thinker. If I said that right. She thinks into the deep parts. She thinks deep. This one's just kind of like... Rainbow sunshine! Do you have a writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for you. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this. I feel like this every day. It's just... Uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone. Ah, uh, what? What, what, what? What tells your idea? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. No, it takes me three hours to write one goddamn sentence. I can't write an entire poem in one day. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Is that right, fat man? Monocles, monocle. Aren't, aren't, aren't monocles the thing you put over your eye or whatever? I don't know. Bionicles. There we go. Yes. Monocle smiles. Monocle. Oh my god, I'm in a... <sighs> Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly... <laughs> blunt. <laughs> we bluntly... I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sorry, you might have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. She just looks like she's like, you're, you're, you piece of crap. This one's like, what, what the hell's going on? This is like pure disappointment like my mother looks at me with. This one's just like, you better join or I'm going to catch your balls off. But, I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> Fat man. You, you all, I am defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make clear a decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay. I've, been, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes lighten up. Yes. She's a snake now. I'm so happy. She already wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Oh. Uh, back off. Be gone, thought. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Well, six-year-old is, uh, aggressive. And that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. I guess. It looks like, it looks like this person, I already forgot your name. This six-year-old is licking Monica's hair. <laughs> Look at that, it's like, ew, and numb. Okay, everyone. I think that we can definitely... Th that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. I remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Fat man, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Oh, Jesus Christ, no. Yeah! Yeah, can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, fat man, since we're already late, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed 
after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Oh. Nice houses. With that, the two of us depart the classroom and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori. Natsuki. Okay, six-year-old is Natsuki. I gotta remember that. Yuri, always in my mind, because, I mean, like, look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that face. That's a face. And Monica. You're demonic. You two are both demonic. You and you. You and you. Will I really be happy spending every day in school at a literature club? Perhaps I'll get the chance to glow closer for one of these girls. 